on board the Falcon. I'm Captain Ryan. We're looking forward to sail with you. Eric and Wendy Schmidt, the ones who are funding this program and who are providing the resource, uh, they were excited to hear that we were able to offer some additional time this year, this additional three weeks. <laughs> so this is, this is really exciting because it's, it's our first student cruise. We hope that through the outreach and through the work that you guys are doing for uh, your own degree programs and also doing real science, that uh, when it's over, you'll be able to say that uh, not only was it meaningful and impactful, but we were able to help kind of accelerate your studies. So for that, we thank you. Hi, I'm Katie Labarski. I'm a marine mammal observer on this cruise. Um, I'm a first year master's student at UH. I study coral and algae, um, so this will be a new experience for me. It's my first cruise, and I'm really excited. Hi, I'm Chelsea Council, and I am a first year PhD student here at UH. I'm working with Megan Donahue to study meta communities. I'm very excited to do observing from a uh, large, nice boat. and. Very much so looking forward to going out on this cruise. So, your guys' role in my research is to find the whales, and then we will survey over the feeding, deep diving, and onto seats. So, you guys will be looking for sperm whales, beaked whales, short and pilot whales. And once you find them, we'll drop a hydrophone in the water. We're going to listen to see if we hear clicks. If we have clicks, then we know they're foraging in the area, and then we'll survey at the top. This is what the male ones look like. They're very rounded over the back. Um, the females and the younger animals, juveniles, tend to have more, uh, I guess, triangular dorsal fins. So just be aware of that. But if you see an animal with that really rounded dorsal fin, it's most likely a short fin pilot whale. Hi, my name is Colleen Peters and I'm a marine technician on the research vessel Falcor and I will be giving everybody a lesson on how the Falcor conducts CTD operations, how we acquire and process the CTD data. Okay, someone who hasn't sailed before, what should you say? CTD. Maybe current temperature density, something like that? You got one of them. this data in the 3D space. The purpose of that system is to track objects like fish schools in particular uh, in the water columns. I've never been on a cruise so I don't have any concrete expectations but I do expect that it's going to be probably a lot of work um, but really interesting and a huge learning experience because every time I've ever gone out into the field I've learned way more than I ever have in a classroom so I'm really excited for that. <laughs>